But is it different to sort of say I goofed or made a mistake when in fact a mistake like that would be far more pronounced than not releasing your text. Oh no, that's so not if true. If it deals with no. national security. Let me just be absolutely clear on the emails because I wasn't going to support it unless I knew. She dealt with classified documents 100% in in printouts and, and paper in hard copy. 100% of her classified documents she dealt with in hard copy. All the documents that were deemed to be classified were up classified after the fact. So we so can you're argue. I'm perfectly happy with that and share the view of many that it's much ado about nothing on a private server Look, have, set up in your own. I have it's a, perfectly I, okay. I've installed, I don't know, 300 plus networks. I've installed probably. But you were never a Secretary of State. No, but I did get yeah. to read all. I did get to read all the FBI reports, which delineated in detail exactly how things happen. How things happen. If you read the latest one that was 198 pages from last week, it says specifically that she asked for everything in hard copy. But do you compare that with someone who is not releasing a tax return? An I mean, explanation we, I that. mean, you can say that about anything, right? Are, are they equal? No, but just you, this. But yes, yes, because really, yes, because I know that there's no there there. Look, if I'm if, if I'm going to find fault with Hillary Clinton on the emails, it's because she's done a horrible job from a marketing. But what perspective. you also have a good read of people and uh -huh. where a society is going, what it's saying, and, and they've actually did give measured, very good responses that it was what a traditional. Uh, public official would give, and she's well schooled, well versed, very smart in these issues. And maybe America, or maybe things we're not getting, or people aren't getting, is the fact that they've heard all those type of traditional type. So of think about it this way. Here's the way I look at it, Neil. It wouldn't be all that much work for him to learn those issues and combine them with the strengths that he has. So if you advised him for the next debate, it would be. I would give him Bobby Knight's advice. Bobby Knight, and I love Bobby Knight, the general. Yeah, you, did you guys bump into each other, Bobby Knight? And, uh, 15 years ago, yeah, that was right. the last time I've seen him. But Bobby Knight, and I put this in my book, How to Win at the Sport of Business. He said, everybody's got the will to win, but it's only those with the will to prepare that do win. Donald Trump has not done the preparation. But Bobby Knight says he comes from his gut, talking to me about Donald Trump. Right. And she comes from a place of political expediency. I mean, I would, I would not say that. I would say Donald Trump comes from his gut, but at some point you have to add substance. And if you would combine those two together, that's what I wanted when I first supported him. That's what I expected when I first supported him. But you can't just go with gut forever. He's going to. So be that's when you left him. Yes. At some point, you've got to go beyond your gut. That's and be such a diametric turn to go from that to... Well, Tom, we're talking about the, the future of the world here. We're talking about the leader of the, of the free world. I mean... But you were willing to entertain Donald Trump, and mm -hmm. you've gone back to conventionalism, right, with her? I've, I've, that's one way to put it, but no, I wouldn't say I've gone back to conventionalism. I'd say we have two candidates, one who understands our place in the world, one who believes in American exceptionalism, one who's well-versed on the issues, one who's come up and originated policies on their own, one who speaks her mind, and then another who has to be told what not to say and do in Let order to seem presidential. All right. Uh, would, if she that. becomes... Pretty good. If, if she wins the presidency uh -huh. uh, and offered you a cabinet position. No. I'm going to be very clear on 100% of things here. One, I've never given a penny to her or any other presidential candidate. I've never given a penny to a candidate since 1999. I would do not want a position in government. Treasury Secretary. Nothing, nothing. I've never Thomas. given a penny to the Clinton Foundation. I have no interest in giving a penny to the Clinton Foundation. But you've made I've your never... riches. You had your success. You've got the team. you got all that. This is an area where you could actually do some improvement. You know what? I've, I've invested in over 150 businesses. I've helped, peop I've helped um, kids from... 16 years old on up create jobs. I'm good at that. I think the world is changing for millennials now where they believe in social entrepreneurship. And so not only do they want to create jobs, but they want to do good by it and help the world. And I think that's good. And let's change capitalism a little bit. And I think I can be there to support them and help them grow. And look, I'll tell you about a conversation I had with Donald Trump. One time I talked to him on the phone before the CNBC debate. And I said, Donald, why don't you go and talk to some small businesses? That's what you're supposed to be good at. His words to me verbatim, Mark Cuban and Donald Trump don't do that. We don't go sit at a dinner table with a bunch of people. We do big events. That's the difference, right? I want to be able to really help kids drive businesses. I want to, you know, that's why I do Shark Tank, because unlike Donald Trump, I believe the American dream is alive and well. It's Look, just on the wrong network, right? That could be true. We can work something out. Oh, all right. Well, let's talk about that. Um, Mark Cuban, thank you very, all. very much. Very good seeing you. Uh, it's always, I love, you make it fair, you make it open. and you well, We tried it, we tried thank it. Uh, and he's a man of authority. He said he would do this show, and unlike a lot of people, say, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. 
There he is. 